here we would do a chlorine residual test. We just run the tap for a while. We'll take a grab sample, add the packet, and we'll try and get a, what we're looking for a pink color. So I'll just give a demonstration on it. So you have to run your tap so, uh, about a minute or so because you got stale water that's from the other room that has to flow all the way through here, getting rid of the stale water. So if you actually touch, you can feel it sort of uh, room temperature. So what I'm looking for is nice, chilly, cold water. And that tells me I'm getting fresh water now. So there is a little line here, lets me know that I'm up at the 10 milliliter mark. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just below it still. So I have to add a little more water to this. And there's different techniques people use. I like to use a swipe just to get that last little bit. There we go. Roughly the 10 mil mark. Wipe the jar, get rid of our fingerprints. Grab the chlorometer, turn it on. So before we do any residual testing, we have to zero it out. So we want to get a sample of the blank, just plain old water. Put it inside, push the blue button, which is zero. And we're clear, we're ready. Take the packet the DPD free chlorine packet. And what we're looking for, like I said earlier, we're looking for a pink color. And this is telling us how much chlorine we have left over from what we've used for disinfection. Oops, give it a shake. So there you see, it's fairly dark. Uh, one of the fun things I like to do with myself and my, my other operators, sort of guess. Okay, we're probably sitting, my guess, let's say 0.89. So we'll throw our guesses in and we'll see who's closest. Cover that. Push the green button to check. Wow, I was close. 0.92. So I said 0.89, we got 0.92. I don't know if you want to see that. <laughs> That's the water operator's version of fun, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 